Let's look at how to conduct a literature review for qualitative research. Example topic, a phenomenological study on the struggle for attention among students at the University of Nairobi. One of the main steps in qualitative research process is conducting a literature review. In this video, we are going to define a literature review, identify the purpose of writing a literature review, highlight the tools you can use in your literature review, talk about how to retrieve scholarly sources for a literature review, how to use reference management tools in your literature review. We'll also look at how to categorize notes from reviewed literature into themes. And finally, how to compile the final draft of the literature review. So what is a literature review? A literature review is simply a written appraisal of what is already known about a topic. A literature review highlights the existing knowledge on a given topic. A literature review should therefore provide an appropriate summary of previous work. What is the purpose of writing a literature review? When conducting qualitative research, the purpose of writing a literature review is to provide a background. A good background educates readers so that they can understand and follow the interest in a given research topic and appreciate the need for given research. The literature review highlights past research findings. The literature review also brings readers up to speed in a given research area by introducing and explaining major concepts and highlighting the motivation of new research. After conducting a literature review, a researcher finds an angle to justify their new research. Conducting a literature review helps identify your research topic's main theoretical approaches. A literature review will also help you to identify research gaps that you can focus on in your qualitative research process. Conducting a literature review is therefore the first step of the qualitative research process. Tools to use. Now that we understand what a literature review is and why we need to conduct a literature review, let's evaluate some tools that we can use to simplify the literature review process. The two main tools you need to conduct a literature review are scholarly databases and a reference management tool. The scholarly databases are freely available through your school library or online such as Google Scholar and PubMed. It would be best to find reputable scholarly databases in your discipline. For example, some of the most reputable scholarly psychological databases include PubMed, IBSCO, PsychArticles, and PsychInfo. A reference management tool is the second most important tool when conducting a literature review. One of the most popular and free reference managers is Zotero. You will use Zotero to manage all your references when conducting a literature review. The tool will help you to annotate and classify the themes you find from your scholarly literature. Zotero will also help you to cite and reference easily. Previously, I did a video on how to use Zotero for citation and referencing. The link is in the description. Moving from topic to keywords. The first step in conducting a literature review for a qualitative research study is to find different keywords that you're going to use to search for scholarly articles in scholarly databases. For example, our draft research topic is a phenomenological study on the struggle for attention among students at the University of Nairobi. We can try to find a combination of different keywords that we can use to find relevant scholarly articles related to our research topic. Using a thesaurus is also a good way to find synonyms for the major keywords. Finding synonym for our major keywords will help us find more scholarly articles. For example, the synonym for college is university. The synonyms for struggle can be striving, attempt, and battle. So the different keyword combinations we can use include attention among university students, attention among college students, social media and attention among college students, use of mobile phones and attention among college students, among other keywords. Let's combine these keywords and find scholarly articles for our literature review. We're going to go to Google Scholar and type in the keywords attention university students. Then we quickly skim through the abstracts of the different articles provided by Google Scholar to find scholarly articles that are related to the topic of the struggle for attention among college students. Our first page on Google Scholar has eight articles related to our topic. We can find more articles on other pages. When retrieving scholarly articles, you must consider different research methods including quantitative, qualitative, and mixed methods. The main reason for considering scholarly articles that rely on different research methods 
when reviewing the literature is that the main point of conducting a literature review is to broaden your understanding of your research topic and to refine your topic by finding research gaps. We can go ahead and search the different keywords on Google Scholar and retrieve all the relevant scholarly articles. It's also important to only consider scholarly articles published in peer-reviewed journals. Articles published in peer-reviewed journals are credible compared to articles that may be found on regular websites. For example, this article was published in the International Journal of Psychology, which is a peer-reviewed journal. After you skim through the different abstracts, you will also see whether the article relates to your research topic or the research population, which in our case are college students. Another important method we can use to retrieve scholarly articles is to check the bibliography or reference sections of our retrieved articles. Always check the reference section of your retrieved scholarly articles for more articles you can use in your study. For example, if I check the reference section of one of my articles by Weaver and Schwank 2021, I can see that the reference section has numerous articles I can use for my literature review. For instance, the first article in the reference section relates to my topic. If you want more in-depth tutorial on how to retrieve scholarly articles, check the link in the description of a video I have done before. How to retrieve scholarly sources. The next step when conducting a literature review for qualitative research is to import all the scholarly articles we retrieved from scholarly databases to a reference manager. In our case, the reference manager we are using is Zotero. For this step, you can use other reference managers such as Mendeley. To import our scholarly articles to the reference manager, we copy the digital object identifier, that is the DOI, and then use this icon to add an item by identifier on Zotero. So let's import our first article. We go to the article and copy the DOI or the digital object identifier. Then we place it on the add object by identifier icon on Zotero and then we press enter. We can see that Zotero retrieves our article including all the citation details and the PDF. You can access most scholarly articles from peer-reviewed journals through your institutional library logins. However, there's a tool that allows you to access even scholarly articles that are hidden behind paywalls. I don't want to get into whether the tool is ethical or not, but all I know is that it's of great use to students. The tool is Sci-Hub. Again, to unlock any article behind a paywall, you copy the digital object identifier, which is the DOI, into Sci-Hub, and Sci-Hub will retrieve the PDF for you. You can then download the PDF and import it into Zotero. So now that you know how to retrieve scholarly articles and import them into Zotero, let's go ahead and import all the articles we need for our literature review. Categorizing notes into different themes in Zotero. The next step when conducting a literature review for qualitative research is to read through all your retrieved scholarly articles and identify the main themes in the articles. Some major sections you can consider when reviewing literature include the author, article title, articles purpose, definitions, quotable explanations, theories or models used, sample, methods, findings, conclusions, and suggested research gaps. We will use a checklist for the identified major areas or themes to create tags, labels, and color codes as we read each article on Zotero. We will read the abstract of every article and skim through the other sections, checking for the main themes that we have identified. We will then highlight and create tags for all the themes in every article. We will also have a different highlighting color code for every theme. I have I've included the literature review themes checklist which is linked in the description make sure you download it for free now let's highlight all the main themes and sections in scholarly articles on Zotero after highlighting all the themes in all the articles and tagging the themes with the right labels and color codes we'll then enter the themes in a literature evaluation table now let's design our literature evaluation table with a column for the authors and a column for every other theme or section. I have also included the link to the literature evaluation table in the description. You can use this table to conduct literature evaluation. Remember, in this step of going through the different scholarly articles and identifying the main themes, we will not be paraphrasing. Our main focus is to identify all the useful information from the scholarly articles that we retrieved and to classify this information into themes. After classifying this information into themes and filling it up in a literature evaluation table, 
Bible, we can then go ahead to paraphrase and make arguments, compiling the final literature review. After capturing all the themes and identifying them in the literature evaluation table, we will then move to the final stage, which is paraphrasing and compiling the literature review. It is easy to connect different research studies from the literature evaluation table because we have already classified the different themes, including the purpose, definitions, methods, findings, conclusions, and directions for future research. So when we are writing a literature review, we will focus on one theme at a time and provide all the necessary citations. Remember to examine the suggestions for future research from the different scholarly articles you review in your literature and use them to support your current research. For example, considering the scholarly articles I have reviewed, I can justify my current research study stating that past studies relating to the struggle for attention among college students have identified social media as one of the main causes of short attention. However, previous studies have relied on quantitative approaches to show relationship between social media use and attention among college students. My study will rely on the qualitative approach utilizing the phenomenological research design to try and determine the experiences of college students as they struggle for attention. You can see that my study is justified because it relies on a different research approach. So after conducting your literature review, it's important to justify your research topic, mainly stating that your research seeks to close a research gap suggested by previous researchers or utilize a different study approach to explore the same research topic. The literature review also helps you to refine your research topic. For example, after conducting my literature review, I have noticed that my research topic of a phenomenological study on the struggle for attention among students at the University of Nairobi is not clear. I noted that past studies have focused on social media as the main cause of poor attention among college students. By incorporating this knowledge I obtained during the literature review process, I can refine my research topic too a phenomenological study of the impact of social media on students' attention span at the University of Nairobi. That's how you conduct a literature review. Remember, this is the first step of the qualitative research process. Do you have any questions related to the qualitative research process? Post your questions in the comments section. Also, feel free to message me personally through the email address I have included in the description section for any queries related to qualitative research. Thank you.